What's up guys, Shane Starts here with Droid Monitor X and Google just released the latest version of Android. We finally have a developer preview build for 8.1. You're probably wondering what all has changed in Android 8.1. With this being a developer preview, most of the changes are behind the scenes and developers will be pretty excited about those changes, you know, changes to the API and the way that things are developed. However, for Nexus devices and the first generation of Pixel devices, there are lots of updates to make your device more similar to the new Pixel 2 devices. I'm gonna go ahead and run down all of the user interface changes. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if we go into our settings, go down into system, about phone, and tap on that Android version a few times, that will reveal the all new Android double stuff Easter egg. If we press and hold on that, that's going to launch the octopus. So we still have the octopus here, that hasn't changed, but it is nice to see that new double stuffed Easter egg. One pretty useful update in my opinion is a new update to notifications. You can't really see it here and there's not really a great way for me to demonstrate this. If you're receiving a bunch of notifications all at once, Android 8.1 will only allow for one notification sound per second. So like whenever you've had your phone turned off for several hours, say the battery goes dead and you turn it on, if you have say, you know, 100 notifications, they all try to come in at once and that can be very annoying. So instead of those all coming in at once, Android 8.1 makes one sound and then the other notifications that are left over kind of disappear. Android 8.1 also brings automatic light and dark theming. So right now I have a light wallpaper. If we bring down the notification panel, you can see there that it is transparent. I can actually see the weather widget through my notification shade there. If we pull it all the way down, you'll see that everything is pretty much a white theme. If we do change the wallpaper and go with a more dark theme, you'll notice that now my notification shades match the wallpaper. It's still transparent and you can still see the weather widget behind it there, um, but it is now a dark theme. Of course, if we go into settings, you still do have the white theme. I'm guessing that light and dark theme automation is only concerning our system UI here. So if I press and hold my power, yeah, even the, like the power menu there changes over to that dark theme. If we press the volume rocker, see our volume menu changes over to that dark theme. There's also an API that's been added for that auto theming, which will allow for third party launchers like Nova Launcher to adopt that auto theming when wallpaper colors are changed. On the Pixel 2, I have the Pixel 2 XL here. You do have this search bar up at the top of settings to make settings easy to find. Nothing's worse than needing a particular setting and having to search through the menu uh, for several minutes to find it. So you do have that search settings, but that's also been added to the Nexus devices and also the original Pixel that is running Android 8.1. Another really useful feature here, if we pull down our notification panel, um, in fact, I'll go ahead and switch back over to a light wallpaper so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But in this new update, we have a battery indicator for Bluetooth devices. So I have some Bluetooth headphones connected here. And if you look closely right there beside the Bluetooth toggle, you do have a battery indicator. So that's great to be able to see the battery level on Bluetooth devices right there on my Android device. It's a feature that we've really needed for quite a long time. So I'm glad that they finally have added that in Android 8.1. Another nifty feature here is the dimming navigation bar. So if I go home and then I bring back up the settings, You'll notice that the navigation bar dims, so it kind of gets out of the way there a little bit. The new simplified power menu has also been added to Pixel devices and other Nexus devices, so when you tap the power button, you're gonna get a power off and restart option, which just really simplifies things. I actually prefer this power menu to the old style power menu. Another new thing that would be hard to show you right here, but I'll try to put a picture up, um, is that when Android notifies you, so if you get a system notification, it's going to have an Oreo logo next to that. That way you'll automatically know, hey, this is a system notification and I should probably act on it. And it's pretty nice to see that differentiation between a standard notification and a system notification being brought forth in Android 8.1. So another couple of features include a keep Wi-Fi on during sleep removal. So if we go into our settings and if we go into our Wi-Fi, there's no longer an option to keep Wi-Fi 
on while the phone is sleeping. So there used to be a setting which would allow you to keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. That way you could at least still receive notifications. It looks like Google is trying to save us as much battery life as possible and they're not even giving us the option after Android 8.1 to keep Wi-Fi on during sleep it's going to be automatically turned off without a setting to turn it back on. Another update that's included here brings the original Pixel closer to what we have on the Pixel 2 by removing the option to turn on vibrant colors. On the original Pixel and Pixel XL, there was an sRGB toggle, so you could take it off sRGB mode. That no longer exists. So after the 8.1 update, you will no longer have the sRGB toggle and you're gonna be pretty much stuck with sRGB colors. All right guys, so that's everything in a nutshell here. As you can see, most of the changes have been made in the background, but there are a couple of user interface changes that are actually pretty cool, especially that Bluetooth battery indicator. It's probably the best update in this update. That about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.